हेलो एवरीबॉडी हाउ आर यू गाइज डूइंग आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एंड हेल्थी वेलकम बैक टू द टेन थिंग सीरीज एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ द सीरीज इफ यू हैवन वॉच द फर्स्ट वीडियो चेक इट आउट ऑन दिस लिंक थ्रो दिस सीरीज माई एम इज टू क्रिएट अवेयरनेस अमंग द शिपिंग एक्सपायरेंट्स एंड शेयर माई ओन मैरी टाइम एक्सपीरियंसिस विद यू गाइज Before getting started, if you're watching me for the first time, my name is Ojas Rawat, and I'm sailing in the rank of second officer on bulk carrier ship. Okay, today's video is about ten things. to look out for when you join your first ship as a trainee and are about to complete your sea time point number 1 what all things to pack in your luggage and what not to i still remember you know when i was joining my first ship it was there was a lot of confusion that uh, what all things i have to pack what all things i don't have to pack i was consulting uh, consulting some of my batchmates those who have already gone on board but they also couldn't give me a you know a list of things which i should pack and a list of things which i should not but with you guys i will share my uh, own experiences my packing mistakes some of the essentials item that you should carry with you on board and what all things which you consider to be carried but they are not meant for your tenure on so first uh, let's talk about the essentials all season clothing see on board a uh, ship route is never fixed you know you will have a voyage going from uh, asia to africa south america europe sometimes you will do transatlantic sometimes you will be traveling in tro- from tropical zone to winter zone so route of a ship a voyage of a ship is never fixed so you should carry all season clothing in my opinion uh, carry some of the winter wears summer wears as well but don't carry too much guys you know in my first ship when i was a cadet our voyage was from uk to brazil you can imagine you know month of december in uk it's quite chilly sometimes temperature goes to minus 5 minus 6 the port which where we were discharging the temperature was going sometimes minus 5 minus 6 and when you depart from uk by the time you reach brazil temperature is already soaring more than 36 37 degree so you can imagine you know in a span of 12 to 14 days you will see extreme weather from winters to summer so carry all season clothing uh, don't carry your you know heavy coat or heavy jackets you have to also minimize your uh, weight of the luggage so carry sufficient winter clothing you can carry some of the down jackets you know they are very lightweight but they are warm enough to provide accommodation the temperature is always maintained the ac is running so in uh, while inside the accommodation you will not be requiring so much of winter clothing sometimes you know when the ship is at, in the winter climate that time you might require those winter clothing but for working on deck uh, working in engine room outside you will have uh, your winter uh, pp protective uh, overalls everything so you don't require too much of winter clothing as well The next thing is guys comfortable shoes when you are a decadet you will be keeping watch with chief officer or second or third officer during pilotage some of the master they some of the captain they uh, require a decadet to stay on bridge throughout the pilotage and sometimes guys the pilotage is too long maybe 6 hours 7 or 8 hours though you will not be working for a straight of 6 to 7 hours but let's say if you are keeping a watch for 4 uh, hours at a stretch If you don't have comfortable shoes uh, in your uh, with your uniform, guys, it will hurt you a lot. Seriously, believe me, because I have gone through that phase. In my first ship, I ca- I carried those uh, fancy type of uh, formal shoes, and when I was uh, on the bridge and there was long pilotage for five hours, after one hour, one and a half hour, my heels started to ache. Okay, the other thing is universal adapter. see uh, you leave from india and you're joining is from korea japan australia anywhere any part of the world power socket in those countries are different you know let's say you join you're joining a ship from australia and then you have a hotel stay of one or two days you you're staying in the hotel you will find out the power socket is different there is a universal adapter you know it you can find it on amazon i'll put the link uh, below in the description also that universal adapter guys is very handy because you uh, it has a uh, different different kind of kind of pins around it and which which will uh, fit in the socket even if you are going to uk us australia japan china 
even if you get on board different different ships you know different type of ships have different type of power sockets though you will be getting an extension also on board in your cabin but if you don't get an extension carry a universal adapter to you it becomes really the next is a record book and related documents i am not aware about the latest uh, term which is used but during our time it was it was uh, name as a record book as a trainee decadet or as a junior engineer when you will be going on ship uh, during your sea time your training time you will be carrying a record book and other related documents with you next thing guys is medicines if you are on any kind of medication or you are taking any medicine on a regular basis please carry a prescription of those medicines by an authorized doctor what happens guys in some of the port in the country in uh, different countries you know some medicines are not allowed unless and until you are carrying a valid prescription along with you so if you uh, if you are taking any medicine on a regular basis carry a prescription from a doctor also in that prescription it should be mentioned that you have to carry this much amount of medicine along with every dosage how much you know every dosage count okay now we will discuss some of the non essential thing that you should not carry along with you first is stationery don't take any kind of stationery along with you guys don't take any uh, notebook register pen pencil eraser sharpener nothing because everything you will get on board on board a ship we have a dedicated stationery locker and you will find everything off for your use the next thing is publications or books okay now you are joining your first ship uh, you will be thinking okay, okay i will i will take marpole i will take solas i will take this that don't carry any of those publication for for your reading purpose everything you will find on board nowadays most of these publication are in uh, soft copy in form of ebook so you don't have to carry them along with as far as your books are concerned your uh, course books my suggestion guys carry ebooks pdf copies soft Uh, soft copies anything but don't carry you know the big big bulky books along with you it will increase your weight of the luggage that's it the next thing is your daily consumables be it shampoo be it, uh, be it face wash uh, toothpaste carry them but in a limited quantity because you know on board a ship we have this uh, slop chest store uh, also known as bond store so you'll be getting uh, all these things in your bond store or let's say if the ship is approaching a po port and you uh, you require anything you can raise a requisition you can uh, request captain okay captain i want this this thing and in the next port agent or any ship chandler supplier will arrange for you so carry your uh, daily consumables but in a limited quantity don't carry too much along with you point number 2 pay extra attention during your on board feminization As soon as you get on board a ship uh, you will be given a safety feminization tour by a junior officer or engineer also accompanied by a senior officer or engineer what does that means guys safety feminization tour especially for you or for all those who are joining a ship for the first time is very very important some of the main uh, topics or some of the main location which will be discussed in the feminization i will just point them out they are master station life port location of life raft life jacket life boys emergency headquarters co2 room emergency fire pump please carry out that properly guys if you don't understand anything during that feminization tour ask to your senior officer then and there don't keep anything with you if you have a doubt about any safety equipments about any procedure ask them if the time doesn't permit because sometimes you know also uh, junior officer senior officer they have their own commitments to be done So if time doesn't permit you can ask them later but don't keep any doubts along with you please clarify your doubts regarding safety equipments at least regarding life boards how to how what all things you have to do during any emergency alarm there will be uh, types of emergency alarm fire alarm abandon ship abandon ship alarm or emergency alarm so what you have to do what is your duty what all duties you have on board during fire during abandon ship you have to pay extra attention for location of life jacket location of life raft how you launch them your procedure if you cannot do in a uh, you know quickly just keep on asking every day your senior officer okay this study yourself understand the procedure but clarify your doubts guys because that is very important for you point number 3 is safety first see safety is the most important aspect you know 
at this point will be a little longer in the video but please stay with me i want to discuss a lot of things with you on board a ship uh, you know once you get along with all the things you understand the you understand the procedure you you know how to do certain tasks your uh, senior officer or your on board training officer will give you some jobs okay do this 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 they, he will give you a set of procedures to be done and also he will mention the safety scenario what all risks are associated with that task please pay your extra attention towards those things safety is very important guys although you are as a trainee your on board training officer will be keeping care will be keeping an eye on you he will train you okay do this like this and you know a lot of other things he will uh, make you understand procedure company procedure safety procedure but for your you what is your responsibility is to understand those things and implement when you are doing that task first of all uh, tell let me tell you guys it doesn't matter uh, you are at which rank you are on which ship if you are working on board a vessel you are always prone to accident i'm not saying that the ship is the most uh, dangerous place in the whole world but accident can happen anywhere anytime you have to be vigilant you have to uh, take into consideration about all the safety procedure if you are on board a ship there will be numerous things around you which you are seeing for the first time you know big machineries crane hatch covers there will be numerous occasion when you will be assigned a certain task to be done you know on your own let's say you are going uh, together with a team of deck crew or engine crew but sometimes it might happen that your senior officer will assign you some task which you have to do on your own you are alone in that uh, task uh, place location guys check around check for your safety on your own don't initiate anything which you don't know if if you don't understand any instruction given to you by your senior officer if you don't understand any procedure please ask till your doubt are clarified because you know scanty information is very very harmful next thing is the, whenever there are safety drills on board be it lifeboat be it uh, fire or another other type of emergency around carry out them properly observe things what all things are being done in different different scenarios learn for them from them uh, you understand the procedure what you should read the procedures to be followed in different emergency situation from where you will got, get it in the, inside the solar training manual on board understand all these procedure thoroughly and then you also learn about the safety procedure of the company ask from your senior officer he will guide you if you are assigned a certain task guys and you find that place is not safe or any hazardous thing is around you stop there and then proceed to your senior officer and inform him sir this is not correct in that location i am stopping the work please send help or please tell me what to do to minimize the risk in that situation point number 4 be observant at all times when i was kid it i remember there was a captain he used to tell me okay you have to learn one new thing every day and report to me in the evening that what you have learned and what how it improved your knowledge so you know in uh, initial phase i i did not find it very uh, interesting to do but later on you know when i was going around on deck in accommodation on bridge i used to observe something okay why it is here what is the use of this equipment why this thing is like this why it is not the other way around so i keep on asking question to myself if i can figure it out well and good if not i i used to ask my senior officer okay sir please clarify me this please uh, make me understand this and that really helped me a lot you know uh, that was for a shorter short tenure, tenure but it really helped me a lot it i further increased my knowledge about various machineries on board a ship on deck on uh, bridge in engine room etc and also you know he used to tell me that uh, see oh just there are a lot of things going around lot of operations are going around on ship to uh, from daily to daily basis you have anchoring you have hatch cover operation you have cargo operation mooring pilotage a lot of things are going around if you are there in that location if certain task is going and you are th- in that location you should be observant you should observe things how it is being done you know uh, if if you are going for a, assisting in anchoring to chief officer see how the anchor is being released what all uh, equipments what all machineries are required what all uh, powers are required and lot of other things you know point number 5 when in doubt spit it out scanty information always leads to mishap happening guys as a trainee on board 
you will be assigned a certain task by your senior officer he will he will instruct you okay you have to do this this thing in this this procedure you have to follow this procedure follow the instruction carefully if you miss out anything please ask again and again till you clarify all your doubts don't proceed to do that task with any scanty information that will will be very catastrophic guys because i have i have uh, experienced during my tenure sometimes you know you don't understand a set of instruction without repeating it or without uh, clarifying those instruction you go ahead and to do the task and it becomes total disaster always try to keep uh, the loop of communication complete let's say you are uh, you are communicating on a walkie talkie when you go on board a ship uh, you will be dealing with a walkie talkie you will be communicating with other officer or crew deck crew on a walkie talkie keep your communication loop complete so that you know if somebody orders you or somebody instructs you anything on walkie talkie he calls upon you you reply in that manner or if you don't understand anything due to numerous reason due to wind or you know the signal are not so good you repeat those instructions so that you don't make any kind of mistake usually on board we have a multilingual crew uh, there are people from different part of the world and then they have their different accent to speak english uh, let's say in a situation you are communicating on a walkie talkie or you are communicating over phone and you don't understand a certain part of the instruction because because of the accent you know they have different accent everybody is having different accent to speak english you don't understand a certain part of the instruction please clarify it then and there repeat the instruction ask him politely if he is your senior ask him politely okay sir i don't understand this 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 please clarify me so that you know the loop of communication is complete and there are no miss happening point number 6 don't get yourself involved in groupism or irrelevant conversations within initial months uh, of your contract you will realize guys that politics does exist on board a ship as a trainee already you have very less time to take a rest or to relax because you have tasks to do then you have your record book to be filled and other you have to study as well so you have very limited time for yourself utilize it don't get into any kind of irrelevant conversation or groupism or anything you only have to focus uh, on your training focus on your record book how you have to complete your task nothing else i'm i'm not saying that don't socialize yourself you should socialize yourself with other shipmate as well but in a good way don't uh, get into any irrelevant conversations point number 7 fully utilize your time when you are on board a ship See, the type of learning atmosphere you, which you will find on board a ship is very hard to find anywhere else be it at be it at home if you open any theory book and you you will say okay i will uh, learn about that machinery from this book yes theoretical knowledge will be very clear but practical knowledge will be zero guys so my suggestion is uh, till the time you are on board observe everything uh, read about the, all the machinery if you are a decadent on bridge equipment uh, all the uh, study about all the bridge equipments familiarize yourself how those equipments works what are the limitation till the time you are on board gather all the knowledge about various equipments machineries and a lot of other procedures and operation being done on board that time point number 8 utilize your vacations time as well now it depends upon your training structure let's say you are joining as a deck cadet and you have to do 18 months of uh, mandatory sea time which is required for uh, uh, second mate exams uh, in your company they allow you to do it in two halves let's say 9 9 months uh, once your first contract is completed your first contract of 9 months is done then uh, you report to your company and they uh, they inform you that okay your next joining is within 2 months or 3 months so you ha- you have that uh, duration of time with you my suggestion guys please go ahead with the courses do them as soon as possible as soon as you are eligible to do that so that you can utilize your vacation time as well okay point number 9 is plan and book your courses in advance now you are about to reach your end of the contract or end of 18 months or end of your mandatory sea time you know that okay i am going to sign off in this to this date Uh, it might not be so accurate but let's say 10 15 days plus minus you know that okay i'm going to sign off on this date you can book your courses in advance according to that date so that uh, you know once you get off from the ship you don't have to search for colleges all around okay sometimes you know it happens that uh, 
some of the colleges do they, they don't have enough uh, vacancy to uh, accommodate or more candidates and let's say if you want to do some course from your hometown hometown or a city which is near to your hometown and then you realize later that okay because i did not book my course in advance i don't have any seat now my suggestion guys plan and book your courses in advance once you are about to reach the end of your seat time you can do it online or some of your friends those who are at home you can ask them to book your courses but try to plan and book your courses in advance so that you don't waste time once you uh, get off from the ship point number 10 is check all the certificates and sea service letters guys this is the last point but this is the most important point now you are about to sign off uh, your mandatory sea time which is required for your exams is done you are going home please check all your documents you should check your Siemens book or your CDC for correct dates, record book, which is should be complete and duly signed, C service letter, check whether you require any stamp or sign. That's all in this video, guys. I hope this video was informative for you. If so, please hit like, share the video and please do subscribe the channel. I'll be coming up with more informative videos in this series. Stay tuned for them. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, be safe and take care good care of yourself.